Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the new AMD FX4300 Vshare CPU. We've been waiting so long now for these new FX processors and now they finally launched. These CPUs still use the AIM3 Plus socket. Alright, but here's the box. Again, we're looking at an AMD FX quad core processor, a black edition CPU, so you can overclock it. On top you see it says FX4300 here and there also are some specifications. It looks like AMD decided to use the same box just like the last generation of FX CPUs, because the design is identical, just the size of the box got smaller. On this side AMD basically wants to combine this CPU with the AMD Radeon HD graphics cards and an AMD 9 series chipset. On the back of the box as always is a description in different languages. Now on the other side AMD tells you how good this processor does and here's the CPU itself inside the box. But now let's open a box up and see what's inside. Alright here's the manual and warranty. Here's the stock cooler that comes with this CPU and it looks very basic. Thermal paste comes reapplied already and the fan uses a 4 pin fan connector. Here's the CPU with the sticker and the plastic protection. I'll take out the CPU so we can take a closer look at it. And there it is, it looks very nice and it already feels more powerful. And like I've said before the AM3 Plus socket is still used as well as the same chipsets. That's why I installed this processor in the ASRock 990FX Extreme 3 motherboard and as for cooling I decided to go with the stock cooler. But now let's get to the specifications. The AMD FX4300 is a quad-core Vishera CPU that has a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a turbo clock of 4.0 GHz. It has a TDP of 95 watts and that's because the same old 32 nanometer architecture is still used. 4 MB of level 2 as well as 4 MB of level 3 cache is offered and this CPU also supports dual channel DDR3 1866 memory natively. In CPU-C the processor gets detected without any problems. The voltage is very low, the latest instructions are used and to save energy the CPU will clock itself down to a lower clock speed on idle instead of constantly running at 3.8 GHz. This FX processor is a black edition one. This means it has an unlocked multiplier and therefore you can overclock the CPU very easily. As for the memory I got 8GB of DDR3 2000MHz RAM installed but unfortunately I couldn't get it to run at the rated frequency without overclocking the platform. That's why I'm running this kit at 1866MHz, but 2133MHz shouldn't be a problem. Just the gap between, so 2000MHz isn't supported. But let's move on to the benchmarks. So the AMD FX4300 CPU delivers great CPU performance for the price. If you'd like to compare this CPU with one of Intel's processors, you should compare this FX4300 with the Core i3-3220. But unfortunately in most cases this FX CPU can't beat the smallest i3 CPU. 
it wouldn't be that bad if the 4300 would have a lower price. Because the Core i3-3220 offers more performance than the FX4300 and even costs less. Overall the rendering performance can be considered as pretty good. When it comes to gaming, well sometimes this FX processor can fall back a bit and I'm only talking of 3 to 5 FPS at max. This doesn't happen with the Core i3 CPU. So I wouldn't say the FX4300 is the ideal gaming processor. In most cases it keeps up with the competition and offers similar performance. The temperatures aren't high at all for a quad core that is cooled down by the stock cooler. The AMD FX with share CPUs definitely run a lot cooler than Intel's Ivy Bridge CPUs. And that's why you have a lot of headroom for overclocking. This processor is fully unlocked and overclocking is made really easy and fun on this particular chip. The AMD FX4300 also makes a very stable impression to me and that's good. The unlocked multiplier is something that makes this processor more attractive when comparing against the i3. But still, this CPU also has a dark side and that would be the power consumption. Let's compare this FX4300 with the i3-3220 power consumption wise. And on idle the i3 CPU consumes roughly 32% less power. When the CPU is on full load that would be 47% less power. Well, overall that isn't that bad, but still keep in mind the FX4300 offers less performance than the i3. But still, if you don't care that much about the power consumption and are an AMD fan, well, you get great performance and AMD improved over the previous generation FX processors. Long story short, this FX4300 offers less performance than the Intel Core i3-3220, costs a little more at the same time and has a much higher power consumption. So in the end, I'd say this CPU is meant for the AMD budget builders that want great performance for the price. You can overclock the CPU very easily and what I really like is that you can still use your AM3 Plus motherboard even with the same 990FX chipset as it still remains the flagship chipset model from AMD. The power consumption is a lot higher when comparing this against Intel's processors, but that's something you have to accept when using the CPU. Pros are good price performance ratio, the CPU is very stable, has some good temperatures, supports high frequency memory and has an unlocked multiplier and therefore it makes overclocking very easy. It's also good that the AIM3 Plus socket and the 990FX chipset is still used. So if you have a motherboard from the last generation, you could just install the CPU and you're good to go without any limits. Of course you shouldn't forget to update the BIOS. For the cons, well the CPU doesn't offer the best performance in programs and games compared to the competition. And the power consumption is too high, but other than that it's a good CPU. I give this processor a 6 out of 10 and would recommend it although it offers lower performance than the competition at the same price point. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.